Welcome back, everyone. It is Thursday. Hope your day is going well. I've seen that the NASCAR had released the three national touring schedules yesterday. I don't know if you guys had a chance to look those over. No real big surprises. We all knew North Wilkesboro was going to be the all-star race weekend, but also Truck Series is returning North Wilkesboro, so that's a really, really nice surprise as well as I've seen Xfinity Series is headed to Sears Point. I'm not really excited about that one. And Xfinity and Cup, of course, is going to the Chicago Street Race. So that'll be an interesting twist. Uh, the weekend in Indianapolis this year has moved to the August 13th weekend. So uh, hopefully I can get... Uh, my. I didn't get to go to anything this year because work and wife's racing schedule and so forth. But maybe next year we can line things up and be able to go down there and check them out as well so anyway uh at any rate i thought it was a pretty good schedule realignment the way they've got some stuff moved around of course phoenix being the championship weekend for all three series daytona's in its spot the clash at the coliseum opens up the season so everything looks to be going the way that it should be so anyway for today's video we're going to open up a hanger pack of 2022 donors yay i know i hear i hear the crickets back there but more importantly, we got a mail day from Danny and Gray's Cards and Toys. I was in a recent break over on his channel. He uh, ripped his last five boxes of the championship collection. I was hoping to get spot one, got the lucky spot one last time, but I didn't. I ended up with spot seven. So show you the cards that I got quickly out of that, and then we will go to this. So we'll start off with a Ryan Newman Top Speed Ignite. I think it's 2012 maybe. 2012 or 2013, 2012, Paul Menard, Ignite, Paul, I Never Smile, Menard, I believe that's MTJ, we got an 09 Press Pass, which he had plenty of that, and, and, and you know, we you've seen on this channel, we got inuated with a lot of 09 Press Pass out of those championship collection boxes. So this is the blue foil version, Dale Jr. Got Brad K, 09. This is when he was driving for Hendrick and Phoenix Racing at the same time for a part-time schedule. Rusty Wallace, 2016 Prism, Blowing Smoke. I'll get to these in just a second. He put all those uh, cards in the same just so that they wouldn't slide around. 2016 Prism, Danica Patrick. David Rudeman. Haven't heard much about him. Wonder if he's still racing down in uh, Florida. Game Face. Is that Casey Kane? That is Casey Kane. Battle Scars. David Reagan. Wonder whose car that is that they emitted all the graphics off of. Johnny Rutherford. Two time Indy 500 winner. I want to say, what, 75 and 80? Let's see. Does it say? doesn't say but i know he's got at least two indy 500 wins kevin harvick paul Ma paul menard expressionless face a very young brad k with kind of a sophomore grin greg biffle and the tracks these are the little sticker cards that were their bonus item in their packs I do have a set of those. I may have to do a, I'll do a set review on those eventually. So anyway, thank you, Danny. I didn't get any hits this time, but that happens. Not upset about it at all. I uh, can't expect to win them all, but next, wonder, uh, maybe, maybe the next break I'll get, get lucky, get the one spot and we'll get a one of one something. So anyway, thanks again, Danny. Appreciate the invite to the breaks. They're always fun. Uh, if you guys get a chance to get in his breaks, do it. I think he's one of the most fair breakers out there in terms of price point and, and selection and what you get, and et cetera, et cetera. So just go over his channel, show him a little love, and you know, check out his breaks. A uh, very, very unique way of doing it because a lot of breakers, oh, well, you're getting the Dale Jr. spot or you're getting the Deegan spot or you're getting, you know, no, he does it by number. Of the card so one through ten basically or one through zero and i got the seven spot so any card that ended its number with seven that's how that's how that rolls so anyway on to the 2022 donruss hanger pack we got 
four more, four more, including this one, so three more after this. One exclusive Carolina Blue Optic Parallel. If you're new to the channel, when I open packs or boxes, I like to show the print runs in this case, or odds in the case of other brands. The reason I like to do that is so that everybody knows what they might be able to pull in one of these packs or boxes or what have you. Put my code card over there. Need to redeem more of those. And look who we start with, Mr. Austin Dillon. So we'll go ahead and get the Dillon, mandatory Dillon card out of the way. Zane Smith is next. Let's see here, this is... G okay, GMS Racing is 21 truck. I was trying to remember, but he is with Front Row now. Ryan Vargas. Is he still, I think he's still with JD Motorsports. I know he works on the cars and such. Kyle Busch, who will be going to the 8 car next year. And here's something to think about. You, a lot of people probably see the memes of Kyle Busch compare, being compared with Dale Earnhardt and etc., etc., if you trace the eight car back, if, if you go to when Dale Earnhardt was driving the three car, and when Dale was killed at Daytona, and they switched the car to 29, and Harvick took over. Well, a couple of years later, Harvick was struggling. So was his teammate Robbie Gordon in the 31. They swapped crews, or essentially teams. They kept their same numbers, but they essentially switched teams. So the what was the three team, then the 29 team, now it jumps over and becomes the 31 team. You fast forward to 2019, the 31 team changes numbers to 8. What car is Kyle Busch going to drive next year? 8. You can trace... So, it, it, again, NASCAR is so funny with how you can tie things together. I, I just thought that was really interesting. Brandon Jones, who announced he will be driving for Junior Motorsports, so JGR loses another driver. And again, much like Kyle Busch, who's going to drop the 1 and become the 8, he's going to drop the 1 off the 19 and is going to drive car number 9, replacing Noah Gregson next year. Chase Elliott, 2020 champ. Another 2020 champ, Sheldon Creed. Corey Heim, who has two truck series wins this year. I think he's going to be a big star if he can get the funding behind him. Speaking of Earnhardt's, we got Dale Jr., all-time uh, Cup Series winner, Richard Petty, 200 career wins. Derek Krauss. Sheldon Creed, once again. These are 81 baseball throwbacks. Daniel Suarez, MTJ 2017 Cup Series champion, 2004 and 5 Xfinity Series champion. Tyler Reddick, again, I don't know where he's going to go next year. Childress said he's going to have a third car for him that will be chartered, the only two teams that have any opportunity will be the uh, 31 car, I'm sorry, the 16 car for Collig and the 77 for Spire, so I, I could see him being farmed out to one of those teams for a year. Ty Gibbs, who will more than likely replace Kyle Busch in the 18, that's not been confirmed. Natalie Decker, don't know what her plans are for next year. Kyle Busch, we've talked about his plans, and we have a red... Coming up, so we will slide that over here and take a look at that. And we have a blue Deegan, and that blue goes really good with that green trim. Nice looking card. Austin Cindric, that blue goes really good with the yellow. Mark Martin, Carolina Blue, and Michael Annette, Carolina Blue 81 throwback. We have an optic of Alex Bowman, and our Carolina Blue optic is Brad K. Our retail exclusives are copper or bronze, Ryan Blaney contenders, Brad K under the lights, Kevin Harvick. Ooh, I didn't go through those four minis. We'll go through those here in just a second. Kevin Harvick action packed, and Jimmy Johnson elite series. And then we have a checkerboard of Bubba Wallace. Winner at Kansas. That looks pretty cool with the camouflage and the checkerboard. 
So anyway, these were the minis that were in the 09 packs. I forgot to go through those. So see so we got I know we got a couple same there. Bobby Allison. Three Bobbies and one Carl Edwards. So I'm gonna put these off to the side because I am kind of working on that set. I don't know how many is in that set. I know there's a lot of variations. But we will uh, get to that later. We have a, a, a red card here that okay, so it's 20. Okay, so it's gonna be Kyle Bush, 282 out of 299. How funny is that that we had the Bush back to back there? So Kyle Bush, red border, 282 out of 299. Go ahead and Get that sleeved up. Got a top loader here that we'll throw it in. I'm kind of thinking, I, I've been doing a lot of organizing on all my cards, and I'm putting some sets together and getting some things worked out, and I don't know how you guys organize it, and I'm kind of looking for suggestions and ideas and so forth. One thing I'm thinking of doing is separating all my numbered cards. Obviously, I keep all my autographs and relics separate from the driver stacks. I think I want to go ahead and separate out all the numbered as well, just... For that fact that it will make them easier to to find but overall i think i know one person is going to tell me that's probably the best card of the bunch probably a few of you are going to say that uh, the brad k is pretty cool that bub is pretty cool a lot of nice inserts in this so get a couple of those sleeved up here in a minute of course kyle bush got the cards from danny's break and so on and so forth so anyway a little bit long video for not much to show as far as the ripping that is so uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks again for watching. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, come back and see us tomorrow. We'll always keep things fresh on the channel, trying to do, again, I've got a lot of ideas, just working a lot of overtime. It's been difficult to really, really execute on that. But maybe here, uh, when the sports schedules and things start winding down a little bit, I'll have a little bit more time. Why it's racing season's getting ready to wrap up here in a couple weeks, have a little bit more time on the weekends. So I got some ideas of videos that I want to do. It's just getting them getting them fired up and getting them going. So anyway, thanks again for watching. Really do appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of your Thursday, and we will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.